Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Three Scary Games, and we're starting with Happy Humble's Burger Farm. And apparently, we get to start driving first, apparently. I'm not intoxicated, officer, I promise. Say park inside. <laughs> oh, I made oopsies. A driving expertise, you know. Okay. The top right, grab your time card and clock in, baby. Turn on the open sign. Ooh. Hey. We're getting somewhere, baby. Oh, we got a customer. Welcome to Happy Go Something Something Burger Farm, where our... Okay. Thank you for the cash. How do I know what you want? How, what, the, what, the, what the fuck do you want? Hmm? Salmon, nuggets, and fries. Fries and nugs, baby. I guess I don't have to cook them. Now where's the nugs? I just spent five minutes looking for them and they were right there. Thanks, come again. Sorry about the uh, five minute wait. Hello? No, oh, they're just leaving. Nuggets are this time. Can't fool me. Take them. I don't want them. I don't want them. In the shake. Bam. Professional. Peace. See you again. Where's my tip, lady? Where's my tip? Gonna get the gonna get the hands if I don't get a tip. Just smoking a cigarette, bro. Leave me alone. Hello? Oh, shut up! Shut up! Man! Man! What the? 
continue to manage customers after that? Okay. Why is the customers walking like that? Like, bro, what, what's... I can do that too. And look at my ass. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Alright. Is that allowed on YouTube? Hey YouTube, is that allowed? Okay. So yeah, it is, okay. I, I, I say it is. I say it is. If I'm making burgers for this place, anything's allowed. Some nuggies. I don't know why they're made out of salmon, but there's your nuggies. I hope you don't get sick. There you go. Why? Excuse me? I just like how I throw it at him. Like, imagine just this in real life getting you throw it at him and it just it spills all over the place, you know? She's like, here you go. It just spills all over the counter. Just like that and it just spills everywhere. But it genuinely scared me. What the fuck? Hello? Oh, Mr. Moo Moo! What are you doing out here? What's wrong with you? Um. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna get a soda, bro. Just gonna get a soda, Bartowski. Okay. Yeah, who keeps turning off the lights? Come on now, you silly goose, you. Jeez. Just a fucking joke. Just move the cow, bro. Alright. I'll get someone out there to move it. Just stay put. Stop causing trouble. Me causing trouble? Okay. Let's see how you are, buddy. Man, I liked my cow friend, too. But he's gone. Bro, you dick. Look at that. He thick as hell. Come here! Hey, come here! I'm gonna get you! Oh. Oh. Man, I wanted to give him a raw burger. Yo, what the f You have nice eyes. You look at that. Is this Satan? Satan, is this you? What the? F
Hey, boss. Do I still got to manage the customers, boss? Hey, boss. Should I still manage the customers? I think I should still manage the customers, boss. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? What happened to the customers, boss? Oh, there they are. You guys need me to manage you? Uh, no, those are more employees, just like me. Right? That's something. That was a simulation. Yo, okay. What the fuck? Yeah, I'll just, I'll do that, yeah. yeah I'll, do, I'll do that. I'll do that. What, what is going on here? What the fuck? Did a simulation fail, I'm guessing? Hello? Good buddy. What the f fuck are you? I know it's gonna be something with this cow. Yep. Hi. This is the next one. This is Fears to Fathom Home Alone. I've seen some YouTubers play this and it looks pretty good. I'm excited to play it. I've only watched it a little bits and pieces. But, uh. Let's get started. We're gonna do the Home Alone one. I didn't know that there was more than one episode. What the fuck is that sound? Is that. Make your alarm clock. 803! An app? An, an, a nap. An, a nap. You say a nap, dude? Might as well just slept all day. Big man, what you doing? Got a nice house. Ooh. So, apparently, I'm on 14. I think I'm gonna take a little nap. Probably, get, probably gonna order some pizza, yes. Don't need to order anything. I already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Okay. Okay, so we got some lasagna. What are we watching here, boys? That's just beautiful. That's just beautiful. What do I do now? Oh, I eat pieces. That's cool. But this is this is a nice this is a nice show. What uh, 
what are you watching, my guy? Yo, yo, did did anyone see that? Did anyone see that? No. Uh. How? What? No. Eat, eat the lasagna. Eat the shit. Eat the shit. Come on. Yeah, you better you better be feeling sleepy after that. But you ain't going to sleep. I don't. I no. You know no. I'm keeping this. I want to be outside. You're inside. I'm. I'm not going inside. I didn't realize you could. I'm just feeling sleepy after all, right? Bedtime, I guess. <sighs> homework. Yeah, homework, guys. Bro, you did homework for four hours? Four? Dude, I feel bad for you doing that much homework. Who the fuck? Who, who's, who's Paula? Is she, the, is she the person that walked up these stairs? Hmm? Who's in the house, Mom? Who? Who? I'm gonna wake up with someone on my face, dude. I swear to God. I don't, I mean, I, I, I swear, man, I swear, if I wake up to someone in my face. What the fuck? Hello? You don't need that no more, buddy. Are you drinking this whole bottle? Is that what you're doing? You're drinking this whole bottle? What? You have to piss after that? Oh, I guess I'm hiding. You there? Yee. Okay, so it's good to know that he's no longer in the house. But who's at the front door? Who's at the, who's, who's there? What the? Paula sent me, said he's been creeping through the windows for calling the cops. You kids lock every door and head in your room. Don't answer the door, bro. Stop it. Can you just make sure I shut that door? Had a mini heart attack. Bro, you look like a. You okay out there, buddy? Will you give me a heart attack? I'm not gonna lie. You gave me like a severe heart attack. Nah, let, let him in. Let him in. This needs a sleep. Wrong button. Paula! Yeah, I'm gonna shut the door. Heck with that good looking man out there. Um, oh.
Do we have a knife? I think we should have a knife. I think we need a gun, actually. Oh, oh my gosh. Is it really Paula, though? Do you hear her? It's Paula at the door. Mom, I'm so sorry, honey. Everything's gonna be alright. Is it really Paula? <sighs> Bro, is it really Paula, though? Is it really Paula? Should I go look? I'm gonna go look. I'm a brave boy. Is it really you, Paula? What you doing over here, Paula? Oh. point in time, I realized that I shot my pants. Uh, I seen him, but I thought I was just gonna. I thought I was supposed to. I thought I was supposed to go to the door. Dude. <sighs> Alright, guys, this is Disturbed by Brad Moore. Another dull day passes. You struggle to manage your fall failing farm. Your crops are beginning to wilt and your cow is sick. For some time, the land has been very quiet. The air has grown thick and foul. Each passing day, you feel, you feel more uncertain if things will ever return to how they were before. Perhaps it is up to you. You've made up your mind. You are going to do something about it. Stand in front of your humble farm, pondering what you should do next. I think we should go to the crops. Speed special. Penetrating odor reminds you that your plants are decaying away and the time is running short. Go back to the house. Go in the shed. Go in the house for the key, right? Subtle so uneasiness as if the growing light outside has penetrated the walls of your safe haven from what you see. For, however, Everything is the same as you left it. Perhaps this may be a good time to just lay in bed and wish that your problems would just go away. You fight the notion, but the temptation is still there. Ah, and then open up, the, you open up the chest and find nothing more than a pile of papers. It seems you have less valuables than you anticipated. You close the chest. Read in your journal. Dear journal, another usual day in the farm. The crops are growing with good health. Okay. Okay. The journal woke up when I defined. Hmm. I'm gonna go to the crops. Go into the pen. Toxic fume burns you as you enter the pen. Your poor cow lays lifeless on the ground as a growing blight slowly begins. Consume her body. You feel sick to your stomach as you stand here, especially as you stare at the black mushrooms at the. Expect the water. Expect the water. Oh, grab a mushroom then. Yes, sir. Okay, that was that was two minutes. Okay, that's it's easy. I know that was gonna be a bad option, but still, why why not? Why not? You know. Okay, let's follow the path. Go 
it to the cave. Why not? A different smell may welcome it compared to the deathly bite found outside. Go further than the cave. Uh oh. Fight the bear. Let's fight it. Skin the ground notice that there are numerous rocks you grab to throw at the bear. Begin to use as the bear approaches you. One after the other, you throw rocks as hard as you can. And the bear tries to set you as you bend over to grab another rock. <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay. Okay. Let's do. Go to the crops again, because clearly there's a way to win this. And then there's like a hundred ways to lose. Continue down the path. Let's pack the wagon. You look about the mess and find bits of food. But it's a key on the ground during your search. It's what felt like an hour or two. You reach a bridge nearby the path of a small shack. Some of the house you have on the farm. The man that lives here is a kind fellow from what you call maybe his home. Look at the shack. Rush the back of your head, figuring that the person that lives here is currently occupied. If not elsewhere, you remember picking up a key from the wagon and use it on the door. The door unlocks. You decide to help yourself in. I'm as wrecked just like the wagon. You are overcome with fear as you think of the man that used to draw here. Let's put the book on it. If this drone reading a passage you can't hurt. Today's trading went smoothly, thank goodness. Okay, so he's. Okay. Plastic, uh, rough for me. My trading business has gone under and I've lost nearly everything I own. This has pushed me to the extremes. That can't be helped now. I am leaving this place forever and ever to return. The land is dying and there is nothing but darkness here. Anybody reading this should leave while they can. Uh, open the trap door. You observe the trap door and there's a lock keeping it closed with the key. You unlock the hatch and get it open without thinking you travel downward. This <laughs> The air attacks your body with a piercing cold. You notice immediately that there's a woman chained to the wall. She doesn't seem to notice you as you study her. You feel darkness around us. You as you stay in this awful place. Talk to the woman. Which you there? Let me out of here. Let me out of here. The pressure of such a demand makes oh makes you freeze. Take a moment to think about the superiors before you spawn. What got you locked up to begin with, honey? You'll never believe me, even if I told you the truth. Something brought you here. Please have mercy on me. You know what? Free the woman. Why not? The first woman unlocked the shackles behind her. As her arms become free, she moans in pain. Oh, thank you so much. The woman struggles to regain her strength, but starts to stand up on her own. As she gets up, she turns towards you. I would now do you a favor. Between the face of a helpless woman disappears as a horrible image manifests itself before you. You feel the chilling grip of bone hands lock onto your arms. Energy flees from your body and you fall to your knees. But the essence of your life slip away as everything goes black. It's unfortunate that you're joining it. But I helped a I helped a woman, okay? And you're killing me because of it? That's the nice thing to do. And you're killing me because of it. Fine. That wasn't even a bad option. That wasn't even a, that wasn't even a bad option. That was a solid choice. It was a solid choice to save the woman right there. But no, you have to kill me because of it. I don't need to inspect the wagon anymore. Just, you know, I'm just gonna cross the bridge. Cross the bridge safely and continue down the trail. After all that has happened, you feel that you should take a moment to rest. Find a spot under a tree and sit down. Getting comfortable, you tilt your head back against the tree and gaze into the sky. Pick out the grass. Wrap around your legs. Turn around to see a large angry face looking back at you. Your jaw drops in a word and a sound of screaming. See if your tongues. It's a tiny good brother. Bro. 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 Uh, oh. That seemed like the better option than going to sleep. Are you telling me that sleep's the better option in that path? I'm confused. So this this game's this game's basically telling us, okay, guys, you guys need your sleep and you need your rest. You gonna take a nap? Your body relaxes, you fall asleep within seconds. As your mind wanders, you see a blurry image. To chill the mercy of your gaze, you wonder who this might be. Bad feeling that overcomes you and you realize who this is. You try to wake yourself up. You wake up and jump to your feet, looking about yourself and your surroundings. All seems well. You can't help but feel fearful that something bad will happen to you if you stay here. Moving forward seems like the only logical option now. Which may, which way should you go? Always the right path, man. You reach the end of the pathway in the distance of the tower, looking over the area. Gate secures passage to the area with this wall around the property. 
Also of interest, there is a tree that has a hole carved into it. Spectre tree. This hole is big enough to put your hand in it. You look around and see something shiny in the hole as if it were metal. Fill it around with your hand. You find three knobs, one on the right, one centered. Okay, left, right, middle. Okay, that's all those combinations. Now we can do middle, left, right. Middle, right, left. Okay, right, left, middle. Right, middle, left. Okay, maybe it's like left, left, left. Oh, there's a lot more different combinations in here that they should be, man. Oh, God. Maybe it's left, left, middle. Left, left, right. Middle, middle, left. Middle, middle, right, 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 middle, right, right, left. Oh, there we go. You hear the rumbling of rocks and the ground starts to shift underneath you. Everything goes dark and you sink before the surface. The hole above you seals up, trapping you underground. You find yourself with no evident way out, but the path before you under the darkness... Dude, oh my god, there's so many choices. So many options. Always the right path, baby. Always the right path, baby. Sitting in front of you, a steady river of water flows between you and the mushroom. Inspect the mushroom. Okay, we're gonna have to do, I like this game, but we're gonna have to do this in like a whole other video, like a whole like 30 minute video other than three scary games, because there's, there's so many different things that could happen. There's so many ways to die, I don't know how many ways there is to win. Maybe just one way to win, like 100 ways to die. It's interesting though, it's actually not that scary, but it's fun. I, I, I think it's fun. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate that. It was really fun for me to record this. I'm going to edit it and then post it. And as you can tell, we're still moving. So hopefully all that will be done. Well, hopefully we moved in sometime this week. But um, I thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.